Is there anything worse than spending your good hard earned money on some new shoes and destroying them almost immediately? I'm gonna give you two tips and show you a quick demonstration on how to make your shoes last longer. Maybe not 10 times longer like most people say, but definitely longer. Let's check it out. What's up all my skaters? These are the brand new New Balance Numeric 1010 Tiago Pro models. If you missed my unboxing video, you can check the link above. If you missed the full wear review, you can check the second link. But let's get into talking about how to protect these shoes. We're gonna look at protecting all of the areas that have stitching along the toe, the side, anywhere that you're gonna come in contact with the board, especially the heel area for heel flips, if you're into that. How are we gonna protect these shoes, you ask? That's right, we're gonna protect them with super glue. We're gonna put the super glue along all of the stitching and again, anywhere where the shoes need to come in contact with the board. The idea here is it's gonna help create a protective layer that's going to wear down first before getting through to the shoe. Now you're not gonna do a super thick layering on this. This is just kind of to help save the stitching a little bit, help protect the shoe a little bit and not to lose a lot of feel. A little secret here, get some ice. As you put the super glue on, you're gonna take it and you're gonna rub the ice over the part that you just did. This is gonna help smooth out that super glue without getting anything sticky on your hands. And again, it's gonna help keep an even surface for you. So as you can see, I'm going ahead and doing it around the toe cap and then smoothing it out with the ice as I go. If you're interested, keep watching. I've got the video showing how I do it and fast forward, I value your time, so try not to waste it here. But again, you can see where I'm rubbing, hitting all the high contact areas, smoothing it back out with the ice. An alternative to this, of course, is shoe goo. I tend to like super glue first, then shoe goo, because super glue preserves the look of the shoe. Shoe goo does not. But once you start to develop holes, shoe goo is definitely gonna be the way to go to keep that shoe together and lasting longer. If you don't wanna use shoe goo and you don't care specifically about how the shoe itself looks, there's also trick tape. I've never used it, I have no experience with it, uh, but it's suede patches that you can put over the toe cap of your shoe and I'm, I'm sure other places. It's the same principle as the super glue and shoe glue. It's gonna help your shoe last longer. Now again, whether it works better, I have no idea. Uh, I think the idea for it to go is on a suede shoe because they're suede patches, but it's got an adhesive area, so I'm sure you can put it on any type of shoe you wanted to. Of course, make sure to cover both shoes. That way, as you start to work on your switch tricks or fakie nolly, you have uh, coverage there and you're not gonna wear down the shoe as well. So I run through this one a little bit faster since you guys just saw pretty much the whole process on the first shoe. It's obviously the same thing, just repeating it. All right, all my skaters, that's gonna do today's video on how to make your shoes last longer. Again, maybe not 10 times longer, but definitely longer than they would on their own. If you like this content, do me a favor, hit that like button, comment, subscribe, turn on the bell notifications. It's really gonna help the channel continue to grow. If there's anything you wanna see, any tips, things you have questions on, leave a comment below. You know the deal. Otherwise, guys, until next time, get out there and get after it.